if you're welcome. Will you? Robert Carrier, here. <laughs> I was just saying to everybody, uh, is there more I snow? I heard what you said. But there, <laughs> is there more snow on the roof oh now? Oh, my than? God, you're lucky I got in it. Is that right? I'm so old now. Uh, no, you're not. How do you do it? It must be a wig. You, no, it's not. <laughs> it's all mine. A lot of vitamins are working at this. Uh, the third time that I've had you on the show with me, but I've, yeah, I've okay, never asked you this <laughs> No, it's not. I've never asked you this question. Uh, how did you start? Uh, what made you become a chef? Uh, and a you know, I was greedy. And I still am. I started cooking for my little friends at the age of four. Yeah. And uh, I used to lift up the old pot and cook fried egg sandwiches for my little friends and pour Miracle Whip mayonnaise all over them. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, and that was my gourmet touch. Hmm. I've come along since. Some people still do that at parties now. <laughs> 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 what, what about you? What do you like to eat? Uh, oh, God, tell me. Ask me. I like almost anything. We just had a fabulous dinner tonight and lots of wonderful wine. This is really coming along, this wild, strange country you inhabit and live in. It the is wine, a very exciting place. To you know, you're the second person in, in less than a week that's talked about the wine. Uh, Lauren Tweez from uh, The Girl on the Love Boat series uh -huh. uh, talked about the fact that the last time she was here, she fell in love with Australian wines. And I understand they're selling very well in, in America oh, as well now. Oh, the they, are. And, uh, they are. They are, they are, they are. We had a 1961 tonight, and you don't ever get those, do you? No, no. No. I mean, it's only safe for visiting firemen like me. Is that what they say? Yeah, <laughs> the good ones, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What about the when you when you have to put a cookbook together or you or you put recipes together? Maybe this is one that we were looking at before, Carrier's Kitchen. Mm -hmm. And I was reading through some of the recipes. It, it was a, a pork saute thing in here. Saute. You have I'm it. crazy about in, in um, Thai food and and. Uh, uh, Chinese food and, and all that. It's going to be our new life now. That's, that's really taken on now, uh, Thai food and life. Indonesian food and, and Vietnamese whole, food as well because they're the leaving The whole their East is giving us so much, huh? Yeah. Because we're fat. I mean, some of us are fat. Uh, <laughs> I've heard, you know, that you're all in great trouble here in Australia. About what? That you overeat, you eat too much meat, you uh, don't eat enough vegetables, you don't have enough exercise anymore, you're all so rich that you drive around in cars and that you have high incidence of heart attack. Yeah. I, I didn't even want to come here. I had to be paid danger money because I thought I might catch it. <laughs> and uh, that uh, the Japanese who eat cereals and vegetables and very little meat only have one-seventh of the incidence of heart attacks that yeah. you have. That the Italians who eat pasta only have half of the incidence of heart attacks. But they always tell you about starch and things. They say you shouldn't have that, but yet that it's obviously doesn't apply. It's a whole new apply. game. It, it, yeah. it seems that the danger is far too much animal fats. Huh? Mm. And that this is what causes many things, even uh, cancer of the colon. I mean, that's not a very nice thing to talk to about on a family show. We're here to enjoy ourselves. We don't want to talk about that, do we? Oh, we anyway, to, yeah. if you have a lighter diet mm. and a more varied diet and more vegetables in your diet uh, and a, a less cooked diet, huh, mm. we'll be healthier. What are, you, what are the big mistakes that people make when they're cooking, uh, cooking foods? Well, I think that when you entertain, you mean, or when you cook? Well, just cooking in general, I think. Uh, I think they overcook. I think we really want to cook only a tiny bit now, that we want to cook for three minutes, four minutes. And we're busy people, too. Huh? We don't want to spend the entire day in the kitchen. Yeah. And that's what Robert Carey's Kitchen is all about, that some of our recipes are only cooked for three minutes or five minutes. We use oil instead of butter in many, in many instances, mm. and we use less meat than we did before. This, uh, now, this breakfast that we're going to go yes, over and, this is and just talk the to you about. What we're talking about. <laughs> right. This is the total opposite. What does it mean when you say a, uh, a high Victorian well, breakfast? Well, I wondered when you said it. Well, I, that's, the, that's the description they gave me. But uh, they said, this uh, is what royalty uh, is. Is this what Prince Charles this is, eats? Uh? No, this is what they used to eat in Edwardian times. Ah. This, was, this was kind of a royal breakfast in Edwardian times. Come on over. Oh, yeah, sure, of course. Sit down. We'll take a look here. Wonderful. Are we going to sit? Yes, sure. Terrific. You can have the, the far seat over there. Yeah, and I'll, uh, wonderful. I'll sit in this one. All right. What do you think of it? Huh? I think it's, is, a, it's a sensational spread, but you pass out eating this much food at breakfast. Well, they died early, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they died happy. But, now, is this what, for example, Queen Victoria would have done? Yes, the sort of thing. And through Edwardian times, yeah. Edward, everyone ate like that. They always had a cold ham. They always had cold game, usually with a Cumberland sauce. They had oysters. Now, these are marvelous gratin of oysters. They had scrambled eggs and sausages. Where are the sausages hiding? They must be. Don, they must be under that. No, no that's, that's the kedgeree. They had the sausages. Look oh, there we go. Yeah. Aren't they fantastic? Oh. Great big British bangers. Aren't they wild? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and then 
they had kedgeree, which is one of my favorite things in the entire world. That looks like rice it's and rice what? And, and eggs. And haddock and, and eggs and saffron and ham and sometimes prawns. And this was, and here's smoked salmon, to go on top, you see. First of all, you have your little scrambled eggs here. I'm going to give you some. Oh, I do. oh, yeah. I've been cooking all day here. You know that, don't you? Have you? <laughs> <laughs> now, do you know who helped me? Gloria and Staley. If you, and if you, and Gloria if you... Staley from Glow Glows helped me cook yeah. all this. She said, Robert, anything, anything for Don Lane. Do you know her? What? No, I don't. <laughs> what? How about a little bit untouched by human hands? That doesn't look like any egg I ever tasted. Though. My friend is going to be pure heaven. You are not seeing this. Don and I are alone in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really... We a... never use our hands. You know that. Do you know in Morocco that you can use your right hand? Your right hand only to eat. And you must never use your left hand. Now, guess what you do with your left hand? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to let him guess, because I think he's going to guess. Anyway, I took a, a marvelous friend of mine, a girl, to eat in Marrakesh, where I have a house. And unfortunately, she was left-handed. <laughs> she had to sit on her hand <laughs> so that she could eat, <laughs> politely. Well, what, would they eat another meal during the rest of the day? I mean, Four you'd be so other meals. Like this one? Like this one. Because tea was a great institution huh, in those days. Yeah. In royal households. They always had a high tea, which was <laughs> tiny sandwiches, uh, cucumber sandwiches and tomato sandwiches cut very, very thin, scones and buns, mm. and uh, perhaps just a little bit of grilled Is bacon. Is that why Henry VIII looked like that size? Hmm. That's why I look that size. Is that <laughs> <laughs> I'm only, where's the camera? I want to talk to the camera and say I'm only 22, but I look older. What's your favorite thing in the whole world that you like to eat? <sighs> you know what? If I were really rich, yeah. what I'd have every day, caviar. It's the only expensive thing that I love. Caviar? Black caviar, beluga, from Russia or mm. Iran. I went to a restaurant one time and they ordered a big, they get those big cans of caviar. No, and I paid something like very $250 rich. $250 oh. or something it was for Don't the thing. Don't say it. Anyway, Robert, how long are you visiting us now? I'm here for the day, but I'm off to Brisbane. I've learned how to say it. I used to say Brisbane. Brisbane. I'm yeah. off to Brisbane, I'm off to Adelaide, and I'm back to Sydney. And I'm going to come and be on your show every day from now on. So it's okay careful. with me. I'll put on weight. It doesn't matter to me. Robert Carrier, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with one of the Sullivan's Victory Bowl. Hang in there.